Hello friends, this video on our environment part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now when I am talking about the environment, it is good to talk about this, the three R's, reduce, recycle and reuse. So how can we make better usage of things in our environment and harm the environment to the minimum? So for that, these three R's are going to be extremely helpful. That is reduce, recycle and reuse. Now in order to save the environment, three R's are extremely useful. First R, that is reduce. What should we reduce? We should reduce unnecessary usage of natural resources. For example, if you are sitting in your study room, you should make sure that only the lights and fans of your study room is on. It is not that when you went to the uh, living room, you switched on the light. Now you came to your study room, but the light in your living room is still switched on. Right? So we should need, we need to take care of such things. We need to take care that we do not waste water because water is precious. Similarly, we need to make sure that we do not waste fuel. For example, if you want to go to school, you make sure that a group of children go to school together in a single vehicle instead of each child going on a different vehicle. Right? So that means we can reduce the unnecessary usage of natural resources. When I say recycle, that means recycle and use the natural resources in different forms. Waste segregation is a must to recycle. Just now I told, right, there are some waste products which are biodegradable, whereas there are some other products which are non-biodegradable. Now let us suppose if you have some things in your house, for example, some plastic bottles or some plastic containers, they have become waste for you, so you have thrown them off. Now, those the same plastic bottles can be taken back to the plastic factories and they can be used to make new plastic bottles. Right? So that is known as recycling. That means recycling the same old product into a newer product. So that way you are actually saving the bio, non-biodegradable waste. But how is that possible? That is possible only when we take care of this waste segregation. Now how do we throw our waste? That is very very important. Sometimes it is seen that people throw the unused plastic materials along with the liquid wastes maybe some somebody has thrown up some cooked food some rotten food and everything they have put off together so now when you have your kitchen waste your sewage waste and all the wastes together so then it becomes very difficult to find out the plastic bottles out of that and then recycle them to form new plastic bottles so this is possible only when you segregate the wastes maybe all plastic wastes together similarly all kitchen wastes together all paper wastes together so if you start segregating the wastes from each of your houses what will happen every every house will throw the waste in a similar manner so when your municipality people come to collect the waste they will also collect the waste in a similar manner that means they will also collect all the plastic wastes together they will also collect all the paper wastes together so when the wastes are segregated when the wastes are collected in that manner all the plastic wastes can be sent to the plastic factories where they can be used or where they can be recycled to form new plastic materials right so recycling is very very important and the third is reuse that is use the same resources again and again for example you have bought a bo you purchased a bottle of jam right now the jam got over so the bottle is now empty now instead of throwing that bottle off into the dustbin you can make use of the same bottle for storing something else maybe you can use the same bottle for storing some pulses or for storing some other things right so we should try to use a resource a particular material as long as it is possible i mean till the time it actually becomes waste Please do not throw it. So these three things should always be kept in mind if we really love our environment and if we really want to protect the environment. That is reduce, recycle and reuse. The three R's are extremely important. So let us look at some of the examples which I mentioned in the previous slide here. So when I talk about reduce, I am asking to save water reduce the unnecessary usage of water maybe we can replace the high power consuming bulbs with the cfls which consumes lesser power similarly 
we should make sure that none of our electric appliances bulbs tubes or fans are not unnecessarily switched on recycle when i say recycle we should try to use the same product over and over again and for that waste segregation is a must reuse for example newspapers which come to our house once we have read the newspaper it is not needed that we throw them off we can make the make use of the same newspaper for making envelopes or things like that we can use the same jam bottles when it is empty to store something else so we need to take care of these 3 hours for a good and healthy environment so let us look at some of the examples which show how we can judiciously use energy for our environment prefer stairs over lift see all of us have lift facility in most of our apartments or in schools but do you think that it is very much judicial to use them it is not because whenever you are using lift you are actually making use of energy because in order for the lift to operate you need electricity and electricity is nothing but a form of energy again instead of that if you use stairs it is not only saving the energy resource it is also healthy for you it is a kind of exercise when you actually climb the stairs similarly prefer tube lights over bulbs as bulbs consume more power than tube lights similarly prefer cycling over bus so in bus you are actually using the fuel so the petrol or diesel whatever it is it is like you are consuming using or wasting more energy so you can prefer cycling if you have to travel a long distance now if it is a shorter distance you prefer walking that is going to be healthy for you as well prefer bus over car when you have a group of people traveling to the same destination from the same place you prefer to use a bus which will accommodate more of you in a single vehicle vehicle with the same amount of fuel than a car which will carry an individual vehicle with a huge amount of fuel right so we can take make a note of these small small things and if we contribute to them each of them adds to whatever happens to our environment so at least one of each one of us can contribute something for the betterment of our environment thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again